AOS here. So before I show you the stats on Luke Keekley here, which, you know, 98 overall middle linebacker, you need to ask yourself, yo, 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 okay. He's a middle linebacker in a game where they don't jump and they are slower than safety. So people just put safeties there. Okay. Now, I'm going to show you the good portion, right? Like, the bad portion is, you know, the Mutt team doesn't really play the game. They don't understand these concerns that we have. They don't listen to us, et cetera, et cetera. But, but, 95 speed, nice, 94 acceleration, and then, uh, wow, okay, 94 block shed, 98 power, and 95 zone coverage. So, all of a sudden, with those added things, with that little bit of juice added in, with the extra stats, Luke Keekley does become actually really nice, right? Because he gets all of Theme, ten, key, theme Team Ken's as indicated by this. So if you run a 50-50 Theme Team, which a, a good majority, not majority, but a lot of people do, they have at least a 25. So once you power them up, I mean, it's going to be expensive. It, it, this is going to be out of reach for a lot of people. Um, 96 speed, 98 speed. So almost perfect end game speed. He's got end game hit power, end game ish zone coverage. 96 is good enough. Uh, block shed 95. So he's going to be a great user, right? Six foot three also. So that kind of takes away the, the, the height concerns. He's a little heavier than a lot of safeties. So Keekly itself statted out. They kind of saved the promo for him. Now we haven't seen the sets themselves. Um, so we, we still got to wait on those and, and that's going to judge, uh, you know, training variety pack. If that comes back, there's still a lot to be determined by the sets, but I just want to let you know right now, get your expectations low. Like, like, Holy shit, our expectations are low, but this even goes lower than it, right? Like, set yourself up for disappointed. You're still going to be disappointed. I'm going to show off the Team Diamonds here. I'm going to um, talk about that. We'll, 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 I'm going to rank them, the best ones to go after. This is kind of like initial rankings right here. Obviously, I haven't used the cards. A lot of these cards are recycled. So if you're a big fan of Earth, this is a great day for you because of how recycled this is. Let's go from top to bottom on the cards. Michael Strahan we saw revealed earlier today. So he's not anything new. Uh, Larry Allen, recycled legend for Team Diamonds. I don't know why, because last year, you know, they brought in so many new names and faces. They brought in a few, right? Jeff Bostic, I do believe, is new into the game. He's a lineman. Um, Keith Jackson right here. Do you guys want me to rank these as we go along? I'll just, I'll just show you the, the, the ranking list at the end. Keith Jackson, he is new also to the game. Um, like, okay. It's just an overall frustrating what week, right? Is this content going to come out on schedule? I don't know. Um, uh, uh, Antro Roll is recycled. Really nice card. Sean Alexander recycled from Team Captain. So a lot of people already have him. Um, we have Joe Montana for some reason. They get a 91 speed Joe Montana. The craziest thing is like you're going to see a lot of the cars that are slower than Joe Montana out here. Or like one speed faster or about the same speed. And you're like, what? Like how is Joe Mont? Okay. Anyways, he's going to be a great card though. Um, Jackie Slater, right tackle. Great right tackle. Lineman. Um, let's go to the next one. AJ Hawk. We saw earlier today, uh, recycled. He's already got 89 in game. Owen Krutz, cool center. I like it. New thickness. They're bringing, it's not a lot of linemen. Um, a lot of linemen promo we see right here. Sharif Floyd, actually a really cool card because he's a uh, run stopper. So it's one AP for inside stuff. Vince Wilfork is faster than him though. Um, so, you know, not too bad as those two as your inside guys. You know, Minnesota just got a defensive tackle yesterday. They're getting another one tomorrow. We have Lem Barney. He played awful for me. I hated the way Lem Barney played when I had him earlier. His team of the week card. So another recycled guy. We have Roddy White. Have we gotten a Roddy White card this year yet? I don't know. I know we had him last year. And it was like a team diamond. I'm not sure if we got a, that, that card this year yet. That might be new this year. Okay. Roddy White, though. Really nice speed. Powers up. Plus, this theme team's getting out to 99. Um, nice there. Warren Sapp. Incredible, right? 1 AP for a run stuffer. Plus, this guy just seems to get home. It seems to act, like I don't know why he just gets off blocks. He plays really well. It's like Seymour out there. Um, I, you guys know the glitchiness of Warren Sapp since they brought him back into the game. His ability to dominate the middle of the field. Morton Anderson. I was someone for the other Anderson. He's good for the theme teams, I guess. 
And uh, he's a kicker, not a real football player. Kevin Green, uh, I don't know, not the upgrade that we were really hoping for Kevin Green, but we do got our first Steelers card, so that's exciting. It is a non-Steelers theme team, Kem, two with it. So, you know, they're getting at least two a year in this promo, which is very rare for a Steelers fan to get two. So that's nice. Nice speed on him, too. Finesse move, exactly awful. Block shed, not great either. So very underwhelming. Edge guy to, you know, kind of give tribute to Kevin Green. They're all 95, so they're not like the highest overalls. But uh, I was hoping for some of them to be a little statted better for what their roles are. Curtis Martin here, 94 speed running back, is nice. He's elusive. Um, he does have break, tackle, change of direction. He doesn't have the, you know, backfield mass for 1 AP. It's 2 AP. So it's still on him, but uh, it's not as cheap as you would like it to be. Curtis Martin there, pretty decent card. Rodney Harrison, way slow, right? Rodney Harrison's the same speed as Joe Montana. That's like that's the craziest thing ever, right? It's so wild. But they gave him a decent hit power, good zone coverage. I don't know why Rodney Harrison's so slow. Larry Zonka, 89 speed. I think he's a good flexible fullback for your roster to put, you know, you know, they need a little bit of speed on kickoffs because everybody kicks off to the fullback due to different glitches and uh, it's just easier to tackle them for, without giving a touchdowns. Mario Williams here, also slower than Joe Montana, even though this guy was a uh, demon out on the field athletically. Um, we have 94 block shed, 94 finesse move. So if we're that like, we're getting finesse with like 98 on guys. And, uh, these cards themselves are like topping out at 94 for some of these moves. Eric Weddle, he's a little short, but speed is one short. If you get everything with like the theme chems, he gets about 98, which isn't bad. Hit power is a little bit low. So I don't love him because of his small frame is going to be bouncing off a lot of the big backs that you run into the Vita Veas and, uh, and et cetera's. Philip Buchanan, I don't know why they couldn't give him 94 speed to get him up to 99 on the Raiders theme team. They just wanted to nerf Raiders, I guess, and is what it's looking like to me. Sad that they left him one short because he's he was a pretty fast freaking dude out there. Um, Delta O'Neal, he's no Delta Dawn. Broncos get another secondary piece, which is like the richest part of their theme team. So they get another one to add on to it. He's awful pressed, though. Um, so then we have Priest Holmes here at 94 speed with an elusive back, very similar to who we saw earlier um, with Curtis Martin on the 94 speed. Acceleration is really nice agility, carrying um, break tackles 93, change direction 95. So a little bit more nimble than Curtis. Uh, there's Priest Holmes. He's a nice name. I I'm glad they got Priest, but is he recycled? I, I had to take a look at if Priest. I think we already got Priest this year, didn't we? Um, Priest. I was going to look at Montana's throw motion. But I didn't. Yeah, we already got Priest home for Team of the Week earlier this year. Um, we then have Joe Thomas for the Browns offensive lineman. Terrell Suggs, he's slow. I don't really like him. We got Carson Palmer, a field general to go along with the improv the other two improvisers we're getting in this promo. Uh, but doesn't really break any thresholds or any it does anything new for the position of field general. I think we'll get gunslinger and escape artist if you want, or gunslinger and hot route master, depending on which one of those two, uh two of those three that you really want. Um Next card, Joey Porter, and it's very disappointing to get a, an outside linebacker for the Steelers theme team. Like, utterly, like, terrible, right? Because Kevin Green, Joey Porter, and then, then TJ Watt's probably going to get a honors card. Well, at least hopefully he does. So they gave us three cards, basically do that, that they could fit in two positions. It's sad um, that uh, they, they didn't realize, hey, the Steelers, their theme team actually needs a CB, I was really hoping for somebody like Night Train Lane or Mel Blunt to be the master to kind of fit into that CB slot instead of going with a middle linebacker, but uh, here we are. Uh, Steelers did not have a good promo again. Andre Johnson, this looks like an incredible card. 94 speed, so he powers up for your theme team, for your Texans. Colts, I think he gets two. And uh, I think, he, wait, I think he gets every NFC South team except for Jaguars, right? Uh, I think he played on the Titans a little. T no, did he not play on the Titans? One of those. I forgot out which one of those two he didn't play on. But he's overall looking like a very nice big receiver. Sadly, I, I don't like the physical archetype. Some people like matchup match nightmare. I don't. I prefer uh, either deep, um, deep slot or route runner because of either for the deep for deep out for one AP or slot and route runner for route tech for two AP. Um, to get those a little cheaper than the other archetypes. Improviser, Vince Young. Vince Young's only one speed faster than Joe Montana. 
Tell me you're crazy without telling me you're crazy. I don't want to understand why they gave Steve Young stat to Joe Montana. We got Tony Baselli, Big L. We just got Tony Baselli with a season changeover. A lot of people already have Tony Baselli. For some reason, they took him over Mays. No, makes no sense, but we got another Tony Baselli. So, like, Jaguars theme team. You're now screwed if you took Tony Baselli because there's no exchange set. Man, the L's just keep pop piling up. John Mackey. I think we already have a Mackey card this year. Um, 90 speed, so it doesn't really, like, do anything for the tight end meta. He's short, too. Um, he's also not that great of a run blocker. And that is it. That's all 32 teams. Um, so let's go ahead and look at the, the rankings or my rankings of them first before we talk about the overall promo and uh, what we've seen um, out of it. I put Tony Baselli last because if you know, you know why Tony Baselli is last on my list. But otherwise... There you go. We got slow guys here. We got offensive linemen. Basically, I, I didn't really order the offensive linemen. They can go in any order you want, depending on what position you want. What Like your theme team, it depends on. Then we got like Zonka, fullback. I don't know how much fullback sees your field. Even, even with Zonka, with his high awareness, he's still going to mess up blocks. Porter, green, slow, bad stats, Weddle, short. Mackey is a little bit slower than Keith Jackson right there at tight end. Barmy, he's got okay stats, but he played awful for me. I also don't think he has press. Mario Williams, Michael Strahan, Sean Alexander, Curtis Martin, Priest Holmes. I do think Priest Holmes is the best of the three um, that we came out. Sharif Floyd because he gets inside stuff for 1AP. Delta O'Neal because he's fast. Carson Palmer, Vince Young, Joe Montana. Put the quarterbacks there because of the the uh, basically all being you know the same abilities just about. Um, I, would, I think Joe Montana is the best of the three because they might give him the best release we don't know um we already know vince young's release isn't anything special carson palmer's also news we don't know what release he'll get this year philip buchanan helps the raiders theme team gets to the 98 speed with it so that's powerful roll same thing but higher with the cardinals uh, i think he's got some other teams that he gets to we'll look at the teams in a second roddy white andre johnson the number one is warren sap just because of the way that he's played on the field for me earlier this year last year warren sap's got that it's factor that's hard to deny plus he gets inside stuff for one ap so that is glorious as for the theme teams shout out to Darth Raider for this list um, for the theme teams that each one of these get um, Cardinals Falcons so you can like look at yours I'm not going to go through every single one of them uh, but like I just I'm gonna leave this on screen while I talk about the general program talk about what happened today with AP um, and overall I'm frustrated right it, it like content is coming out unprofessionally late Cards are getting chosen that are wild. Theme teams are angry. I get it. You have to work in a certain, like, you know, uh, cards for certain release schedules. But this is brutal. With the, the lava of Team Diamonds in the past that we've had and, and the new names that we've gotten. Remember last year where the Steelers got Mutt Legend Dree Archer out of this promo? And now we're looking at guys that, like, we've already got them this year. Or if they're new, they're, like, offensive linemen or completely uninteresting. Steelers got, you know, two guys basically doing the same thing. We're going to get uh, another guy doing that same thing here soon, too. It's just overall, like, I feel like they've lost it. They, they've lost that it factor. That, that You know, they nailed it so well through Blitz, through the winter promo. Like, I, I did not expect the wheels to fall off this quick from the bus after Kralo left. But something's clearly messed up. Like, this last couple of weeks have been one disaster after another. From them messing up solos and giving him make rides. You know, Ju Johnny United's like, hey, screw you. He's not in the, the, the re-roll. Because fuck yourself. That's right, Muck community. Fuck yourself. And then, like, you know, theme teams are unbalanced. They haven't really, like, worked on that. Like, the NBA lie guy, I feel like, is over his head, right? This is just disgusting. It, it, it's so disappointing. And then, like, the stats aren't done very well, too, on a lot of these cards. Like, they're supposed to be theme team gods. And, like, a lot of them aren't getting to 99 speed. Like, what the fuck's the Patriots supposed to do with Rodney Harrison? They're getting another DB, and he's slow. Like, how the hell are you going to play somebody slow in Mutt 22? Why is Rodney 91? It, 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 like, and maybe they'll go ahead and boost some of these stats later. I hope so. Why is Kevin Green got awful finesse move? Why? Why are things the way they are? Why? Why does nobody go over these? Like, nobody that plays mutt take a look over and be like, yeah, okay, the community's gonna like this, right? Like, all they needed to change in a few of these cards was a couple of plus one, plus two certain areas to like. I don't know. Make people feel good. May, if they have like a theme team, like the Team Diamonds 3 coming out that they're saving some names for and they wait for Marsh to do that, like that'd be great for you to communicate with us. But like right now, 
Like we're in like a black hole of communications and it sucks. It really does. Like, if you let us know, give us a heads up. Like, why you make some of these choices? You know, uh, open invitation to come on the channel, either Twitch or YouTube. I mean, I could do it on Twitch and then upload it to YouTube too. Like, I, I would love to hear your side of the story, EA, on a lot of these decisions and, and why they're coming out so poorly done. And, and you know, I, I hope that this content goes live tomorrow at 10.30 a.m. Eastern. I'm going to be streaming, but, like, is it is it actually just going to come out late in the day? Like, uh, because they give us no heads up. Like, oh, sorry, we can't get it done yet. I don't know. It might. Like, we have no clue on when to show up for these things, right? It's it's so rude. It's like when somebody says, "All right, like like I'll come fix your cable from eight to noon," and then they don't show up till like fucking two. It's like why why should we expect it? Like why why do we have to wait till last minute? Why do we have to wait till it just shows up? Why can't you, like, let us know ahead of time? Why are you redlining? Why is this stuff taking so long to do? Why can't you fix your processes? You've been doing this for a decade. What's going on? What's so hard to slim down and get it streamlined? It's wild. Absolutely wild. I am glad they brought out, like, one card that's, like, incredible. This Luke Keekley. This card is, you're going to see this a lot. Well, I don't know if you are. It's a middle linebacker still, but he's going to be fast, 98 speed on all the theme teams. He's going to be expensive, though, dude. I don't know if these sets are profitable. That would kind of need for them to show us the sets ahead of time so we could prep for that, too. Like, I'm going to have to prep tomorrow, too, because I don't know what the, the heck to buy. <sighs> More information is better, yay. I, uh, man. Overall, we'll go back to the rankings again for. 32 through one, obviously non-Taiwan division as they're the only professional. These are all amateurs. Taiwan's the actual number one. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So overall, that plus the ability point updates from today. Why is why is Gunslinger taking taking hits? They up updated like Escape Artist should have gone up. Escape Artist was wickedly powerful. Like that was no joke. I tried out Joe Burrow today. He was meh. Uh, but like. Why did Gunslinger take a hit too? Why did they nerf a passing cam? When like, like uh, here's the thing. I said this today in stream. I'll say it again. Passing is the NFL. It's realistic. Gunslinger is realistic. Gunslinger is closer to how Josh Allen plays in real life than how somebody can go from zero to full speed in a step with his escape artist. So Gunslinger is realistic, okay? But you're like, oh, it's a video game. True. Also, also in the NFL, remember like around like the turn of the century when we had all these quarterbacks, Peyton Manning, Tom Brady, Breeze, Roethlisberger, it started, it started to become a passing league. Do you think the NFL said no, 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 we can't have a passing league. There's too much skill involved with like exciting wide receivers making exciting plays like Randy Moss. No, we got to nerf that. No, that's not what they said. They embraced it, right? So when you see players throwing dots, and obviously dots are different. Some of them are BS, like 360, no scope, unrealistic, throw 60 yards down the field, you know, BS. But, like, there's no reason to nerf the exciting part of the game. The NFL itself knows this. Why doesn't Madden? Like, they look at, like, the top end of competitive Madden. All these guys that are, like, playing the game at, its liter at the literal top level the best, and they're passing the ball. Like, oh, man, that's, that's really powerful when they make reads and throw. That's because they're the best of the world at it, right? Stop nerfing Peyton Manning and the top end players just because they make it look easy. It is not easy to pass the ball without bullshit rollouts. And that, again, is a skate artist. Right? Certain things are easy to pass the ball with, but other things, it takes a little bit of skill to look between zones and throw it. Okay? Now, obviously, you know, an acrobat probably should go down to one AP in my opinion, so that way people can't just low throw wheel routes all game. And there's other like things like I think pick artists should be zero AP, so that way you don't drop interceptions. That should just be a hack around. To help defense, inside stuff should be one AP on all run stuffing archetypes and all defensive tackles. So, like, certain things to help outbalance the game because it is an offense game. But, again, like, it just it just frustrates me. I don't know why Gunslinger took a, took, took a, a, a shot here. Why did it go up? I guess I can, I can show it to you why, how much it's up to now. It's just they listen to, like, 
the dumbest voices. So I, I wanted to pass the elite, by the way. But yeah, gunslinger. Now it's a three AP difference. It might it might be worth just going to pass the elite instead of gunslinger now. Um, for three AP because man coverage is a lot of people running it, so you kind of want route text for that. But that's the video. Very disappointing overall. Few days. Hope it didn't drag on too long. Thanks for watching Call to Action. I will see you tomorrow.